witchcraft is going on around town. You have to go down and deny it yourself. And what do I say to him? That I caught my daughter and niece dancing with head in the forest? We did dance. I confess it. But they're speaking of witchcraft. And Betty's not witched. Abigail, I cannot defend you from the congregation when I know you have not been with me. What did you do with her in the forest? We did dance. And when you jumped out so suddenly from the bushes, we were frightened and Betty fainted. That's all. Sit down, child. Now look, child, if you've trapped from experience in the forest, I must know from Annie'sville and they'll ruin me with it. For only a hobby, uncle. I saw Tatuba waving her arms over the fire. Why was she doing that? And I heard screeching and gibberish coming from her mouth. She only sang Barbados songs. That's it. Abigail, my enemies do not believe you, and I thought I saw someone naked running through the trees. No one was naked. You're mistaken, uncle. I saw it. Now tell me the truth, Abigail. Your cousin's life is at stake. I cannot go down there and stand before them unaware. There's nothing more, uncle. I swear. Abigail, is there any other cause that you have told me for discharging you? It's told me that for seven months that you've been out of the house and no other family has called for you. They want slaves, not people like me. Let them go to Barbados, for I will not blacken my face for them. I have no stomach for disputation this morning. I've had enough contention since I came. I want no more. Yes, Uncle. Now look, if they be questioning you, just tell them we dance. That's all I told him. And what more? He saw you naked. Oh, Jesus. Abby, we must tell them the truth. Richard will get us hanged while dancing will only get us whipped. Now, Betty, dear, wake up. Wake up, Betty, please. I told your dad everything, and there's nothing to... You take blood, Abby, you take blood! You never say that again. You did, you did. You drank blood to kill John Proctor's wife. Now shut it, all of you. If you even say one more word, or even breathe one more word, I'll come to you at night and terrify you to the point where you don't want to wake up. Now sit up and shut it. Mayor Warren, what are you doing here? Are you foolish? I told you you can't come here. Go home, my wife's waiting for you. She's only acting silly. Somehow she'll come out of it. Town's mumbling witchcraft, Abby. Oh no. We were dancing in the woods last night, and my uncle walked in on us and leaped out on us, and that was all. John, I'm waiting for you every night. There we go. Put it out of mind. I will not come for you. You know me better. I know how you clutch my back behind that house, and I saw when you would sweat like a stallion whenever I came near. And I saw your face when she put me out. You loved me then, and you love me now. Child. Don't you dare call me child. Abby, I may think about you softly from time to time, but I'll cut off my own hand if I ever reach for you again. <laughs> Betty? What are you doing to her, Betty? Were you looking at my daughter, sir? She tried to jump out the window. We caught her at the high roads, waving arms as though she'd fly. She tried to fly? She cannot bear to hear the Lord's name. Mr. Hale, that's a sure sign of witchcraft. No, no. Now let me instruct you. We cannot look to superstition in this. The devil is precise. The marks of his presence are definite as stone, and we must look only for his proper signs and judge nothing beforehand. And I must tell you all that I shall not proceed unless you are prepared to believe me. It is agreed, sir. It is agreed. We will go with your judgment. Now, sir, um, what were your first warnings of the strangeness? Why, I discovered Abigail and my niece and Tituba dancing in the forest last night. You permit dancing? No, no. It's a secret. Mr. Paris' slave has knowledge of conjuring, sir. You sure of that, Miss Anne? I know it, sir. I sent my child. She should learn from Miss Tatuba, who murdered her sisters. 
Mr. Hale, is it normal for seven children to be dead before they even live a day? Seven dead in childbirth? Yes. Have no fear. We'll make this double leave if he has come among us. Abigail, what kind of dancing were you doing in the forest? Well, common dancing, that's all. Abigail, your cousin might be dying. Did you call the devil last night? I never called him. Tutuba called him. She called the devil. I must speak to Tutuba. Miss Anne, will you go get her? Sure. How did she call him? I don't know. She spoke Barbados. Was there a kettle? Did she drink anything from it? No, she didn't. Neither did I. Did Tutuba ask you to drink it? Yes, but I refused. Why are you concealing? Did you sell yourself to Lucifer? I never sold myself. I'm a good girl. She made me drink it. And Betty. Abby, she made me drink blood. Blood? My baby's blood? No, chicken blood. I give her chicken blood. Why can't Betty not wake up? Are you silencing this child? I love Betty. Did you set your spirits out on this child? Are you collecting souls for the devil? She sends spirits to me. In church, she would make me laugh at prayers. And also, at night, she comes to me to make me drink blood. You begged me to conjure, Abby. She begged me make a charm. She's always coming to me at night. She's always making me have dreams of corruption. Abby, Mr. Reverend, I never... When did you compact with the devil? I never compacted with no devil. You will confess yourself or I'll whip you to death, Tituba. This woman will be hanged. No, no, don't hang Tituba. I told him I don't want to work for him, sir. Who, the devil? Well, I'm going to help you set yourself free. You will be a good Christian woman. Yes, sir, I am a good Christian woman. And you love God, Tituba? I love God with all my being. Bless him. But when the devil comes, does it come with other people? There was four. Who? Who? Their names. Oh, how many times you wanted me to kill you, Mr. Paris? Kill me? He says Mr. Paris is not an admirable man. He says cut his throat. I tell him no. I don't hate that man. But he say, Tatuba, you work for me, and I'll make you free. And I say, you lie, devil, you lie. And he come to me on one stormy night and say, look, I have white people that belong to me, and I look. And there was Miss Good. Sarah Good? Yes, and Miss Osborne. You must give us all their names. God will really thank you for that. I want to open myself. I want the light of God. I want the sweet love of Jesus. I danced with the devil. I saw him. I was in his books. I go back to Jesus. I kiss his sand. I saw Sarah Good. Bridget Bishop with the devil. And I saw... Miss Osborne with the devil. She speaks, she speaks. The word of God, it is broken. They're free. I saw many more with the devil. The marshal. I'll call the marshal. Let the marshal bring irons. What keeps you so late, John? It's almost dark. I was in the forest planting. You come so late. I thought you'd gone to Salem this afternoon. Salem? What business do I have in Salem? You did speak of going here earlier this week. I haven't thought of it since then. Mary Warner's there today. What? Why'd you let her go? You heard me forbid her to ever go to Salem again. I did forbid her, but she said to me, Miss Proctor, I must go. I'm official of the court now. Court? What court? They have a proper court now. Why? She's mad! I would think she was too. There'll be 14 people in jail now, she said. They'll be tried and the court will have the power to hang them too. Ah, they never hang. Deputy Governor promised hanging if they don't confess, John. The towns go wild. Mary Warner speaks of Abigail as though she was a saint. Abigail screams and howls and falls to the floor and people are getting hanged for bewitching her. Mary, why would you go to Salem where I forbid you not to? I'll whip you if you ever leave this house again. I'm sick. I'm sick, Mr. Proctor. Pray for me. My insides are all what? shuddered. And I was in the proceedings all day. I made you this gift, Mrs. Proctor. I had to sit in a chair for a very long time, so I took time and so for that for you. I thank you. Mary, is it true 14 people will be arrested? No, sir. There will be 39 now. You must see in God's word that I won't be here for most of the day. I'm part of the official court now. I'll official you. No, I will not take whipping anymore. We must find where the devil is, where the devil's hiding! I want the devil out of you! I saved her today! Am I accused? You were mentioned, but I told them that I didn't see you send out your spirit to hurt anybody. And they believed me because I lived so close to you. Who accused me? It's bound by law I can't tell anyone. 
Go to bed. Good night. Good night. Oh, the noose! The noose is up! There'll be no noose! She wants me dead. I knew all week it would come to this. They dismissed it. You heard her say. And what about tomorrow? Sit down. You know she wants me dead, John. You know I said it. sit down. It must be wise, Elizabeth. Oh, indeed. Indeed. Fear nothing. I'll find Trevor. We are going to mean more than that. I think you will agree with me on this. You need to go talk to Abigail. Abigail? What do I have to say to Abigail? There is a thousand names she can call, yet she calls mine. She thinks to take my place. She can't think this. John, do you ever show her somewhat of contempt? She can't even walk past you in the church without you blushing. I may blush for my sin. I think she sees another meaning in that blush. I think sometimes that you're ashamed. That I'm there and she is so close. When will you know me, woman? Then go. Go tell her that she's a whore. Fine, I will go. Good evening to you, John Proctor. Uh, good evening, Trevor. Hope you don't come in business with the court. I do, Proctor, yes. I am clerk of the court now, you know. I have a warrant for your wife. What? A warrant? Who charged her? Why? Abigail Williams charged her. On what proof? Mr. Proctor, I have little time. The court bid me to search your house. So if I come over later, please hand me any puppets that your wife may keep here at your home. Well, I have no puppets here. Not since I was a girl. Well, there is one that Mary gave me earlier. I have to come into the court. She will not! Go fetch Mary! So is there anything on the law that is rather odd? Well, there's a needle in its stomach. There is a needle? What signifies a needle? The girl, the Williams girl, Abigail Williams, sir. She sat to dinner in Reverend Paris' house tonight, where she fell to the floor. She screamed a scream that a bull would weep to hear. And he goes to save her, and stuck two inches in the flesh of her belly, and he drew a needle out. He demanded her to explain how she got stabbed, and she testified it was your wife's familiar spirit that pushed it in. Why, well, Abigail did it herself. You say that, but you also tell me that there is a poppet Miss Proctor owns, and in the belly of the poppet, a needle stuck. Mary Warren! Is this your poppet? What poppet's that, sir? This one right here. Why, well, I... I think it is. Is it or is it not? It, it, it is mine. And how did it get into my house? Well, I made it at the court. And I gave it to Elizabeth tonight, and you saw me. This puppet was found with a needle in its stomach. I meant no harm by it, sir. This is you to say this now? Why, no! I'm entirely myself. Even as Abby. She was there. She was beside me when I did this. Mary, you charged a cruel murder on Abigail. Murder? Why? I charged no- Abigail was stabbed. She had a needle in her stomach. And she charged Elizabeth? That girl is murdered. She must be ripped out of this world. That, sir, ripped out of the world? I said quiet. You ripped? I said quiet. I will not give my wife to vengeance. I'll go, John. No, you will not. I think I must. When the children wake, speak nothing of witchcraft. Fear nothing. I won't. Mr. Parker, she'll be allowed to go home once the court is given proper evidence. Mary, you're going to the court with me, and you will tell it in the court. I cannot charge murder on Abigail. You will tell the court how that poppy got in my house and how it got stabbed. I can't. She'll kill me, and she'll charge on you. She'll charge lechery on you, Mr. Proctor. I won't let my wife die for me. I won't let that goddess die. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> now turn on me. Abigail, I was speaking to you. Do you come friendly? Of course. My wife goes to trial in the morning. Your wife? Surely you knew that. I do remember it now. Is she is she well? As well as she may be. 36 days in that place, she won't be condemned. You called me to speak about her? Yes, I come to tell you what I would do in court tomorrow. 
I won't take you by surprise, but I'll give you time to think about how to free yourself. Free myself? If I'm not free my wife tomorrow in court, I'm set to ruin you, Abby. Ruin me? I have proof. No, this is your wife pleading. Your terrible, useless wife. I'll prove you for the liar you are. And if they ask you why Abigail would commit such a murderous act, what would you say? Tell them why. You will confess to fornication in the court? I will if I have to. <laughs> I say I will. You will go into court tomorrow and tell them you never saw spirits. I'll make you famous for the that you are. This is not you, John. I know you're secretly pleading that your wife will hang. Mad murderous. Good night, John. I hope you save yourself. I have evidence for the court. Remove this man. You're hearing lies. You're spreading lies about the others. <sighs> all right. Submit your evidence. She's been striving her soul all week, Your Honor. She comes to tell you the truth. Who is this? I'm John Proctor. Elizabeth Proctor is my wife. This is Mary Warren. What do you have to tell us, Mary Warren? She never saw any spirits. Never saw any spirits? They've come to overthrow the court. This man is... It was all his head, sir. Ah. Uh. And the other girls, Susanna Walcott, and the others, they are also pretending? Yes, sir. Indeed. Now, Mr. Proctor, before I decide whether I should hear you or not, it's my duty to tell you this. Are you certain, mister, that your evidence is the truth? It is! Now, sir, what is your purpose of doing so? Well, I would, I would free my wife, sir. Do you have any desire to undermine this court? No, sir. Sit down. I'm ready to hear your evidence. I don't come to hurt the court. I only... How many names are there to be hung? 91, Your Excellency. These people should have been called for question. Okay, now, mister, what other evidence do you have to provide for this court? Mary, you can't cry. This is Mary's deposition. Two weeks before this, she was the same like any other child today. She screamed. She howled. You heard her. The spirits choked her. Satan, in the form of a woman, is now in jail and to try to win her soul away. And then she refused. She swears she never saw Satan or anything like Satan. And our friends, she's calling them liars. Mr. Paris, are we going to the court and bring the children here? Mary Warren, what caused you to this turnabout? Has Mr. Proctor threatened you for this deposition? Then you tell me that you sat in my court, callously lying, when you knew that people would hang by your evidence? Answer me! I did, sir. You are with God now? I am, sir. Then let me tell you this. Either way, you have lied either in this court, or you're lying in front of me now. I cannot lie no more. I am with God now. Sit you down, children. Your friend Mary Warren has given us a disposition in which she swears that she never saw any familiar spirits nor any manifest of the devil. She claims as well that none of you have seen these things either. Now, children, this is a court of law. The law and Bible forbid the practice of witchcraft and damn all liars and bearers of false witness. But it w may well be that Mary Warren has been conquered by Satan, who sends her here to distract our sacred purpose. But if she speaks true, I bid you now to confess your pretense. For a quick confession, will go easier with you. Abigail Williams, rise. Is there any truth in this? Uh, no, sir. Mary Warren, do you still wish to continue this case? Yes, sir. A papa was discovered in Mr. Proctor's house, stabbed by a needle. Mary Warren claims that you sat beside her in the court when she made it, and that you saw her make it, and witnessed how she struck her needle into it, herself for safekeeping. What do you say to that? It is a lie, sir. You do understand that you are charging Abigail Williams with murder. She's a murderer. Mary, tell the government how you dance in the woods. Dancing? What is this dancing? Your Honor, Abigail led them into the woods and they danced there, naked. Mr. Paris found them in the dead of the night. I can only say, sir, that I never found any of them naked. And this man is... You discovered them dancing in the woods? Do you deny this, Mr. Paris? I do not, sir. But I never saw any of them naked. But she have danced? Yes, sir. And yet, when people accused you of butchery, confronted you in court, you would faint, saying their spirits came out of their bodies and choked you. That was pretend, sir. Then could you pretend to faint now? Now? 
Why not? So there are no spirits attacking you. No one in this room is accused of witchcraft. Let you faint. I... I have no sense of it now. I never saw spirits. I still faint because I thought I saw spirits. Thought you saw them? How could you think you saw them unless you saw them? I... I cannot tell you how. Other girls were screaming and you seemed to believe them. I promise you, Mr. Danforth. I thought I saw them, but I didn't. Abigail Williams, I ask you now to search your heart and tell me this. Is it possible, child, that the spirits you have seen are illusion only, some deception that may cross your mind when... There is... What is it, child? I don't know. A cold wind has passed me. Cold wind. She's pretending. Mary, do you send a shadow on me? I freeze. Mary Warren, do you witch her? I say to you, do you send your spirit out? Oh, Heavenly Father, take the shadow away! Damn you! How dare you! How will you prove this? This will not pass. I've known her, sir. I've, I've known her. You... you are a legend? It is true. It's true. She will deny it. You have to believe me, sir. A man... a man will not cast away his good name, sir. You surely know that. She used to serve me in my house, sir. A man may think God sleeps, but God sees everything. I know it now. I beg you, sir. I beg you. Tear for what she is. My wife, my dear good wife, took this girl soon after. Sir. Put her out of the, her high road, and being what she is, a lump of varnity, sir. And being what she is, a lump of vanity, sir. Excellency, forgive me. Forgive me. She thinks she'll dance with me in my wife's grave. And well, she might, for I thought of her softly. God help me. I lusted, and there's a promise in such sweat. But it's a it's vengeance, and you must see it. I set myself entirely in your hands, I know. You must see it now. My wife is innocent. Yet she knows a, when she sees one. She does not deny it either. Where do you think you're going? You sit yourself down. <laughs> Mr. Paris, will you please go retrieve Elizabeth Proctor? But don't tell her a single word that was spoken here today. Now, Mr. Proctor, is your wife an honest woman? My wife? She cannot lie, sir. Good then. Oh! You, get up. Face it that way. You, do the same. Face this way. Now, no one here will speak or make a single gesture. Come in. Now, in this court, we are given to understood that at one time you dismissed your servant, Abigail Williams. That is true, sir. For what cause did you dismiss her for? She, she did not please me and my husband. So. I, in that time, sir, I was sick. And I, my husband is a good and righteous man. He is never drunk, and he is always at work. But at this time, I came to think that he was turning away from me. And this girl. Look at me. This girl, Abigail Williams, I thought he fancied her. And did he indeed turn from you? My husband is a good man. He... Look at me. To your knowledge, has John Proctor ever committed the crime of lechery? <laughs> Answer me! No, is sir. your husband a lecher? No, sir. Elizabeth! Tell the truth! She only thought to say my name. She spoke nothing of lechery, and this man is a liar! Child. It's on the beams! Where? My face! But God made my face! You cannot want to tear my face! Oh Mary, this is a black bar that changes your shape! I cannot! I cannot stop my mouth! It's God's work I do! Just pretend it! Abby, don't! Abby, don't! I'm here! I'm here! Mary, I'm here. take your soul out of her! Mr. Danforth! Mr. Danforth! Have you compacted with the devil? Never! Why are they repeating you? Abby, stop it! Abby, stop it! 
A little while ago, you were afflicted. Now it seems that you afflict others. Where did you get this power? I have no power! I have no power! Mary! Mary! Damn all liars! The wings! Her wings are spreading! Mary, please! Don't! Don't! She's going to come down! She's walking the beams! Look out! She's coming down! Mary! No, stop! You're the devil's man! Mary, how dare you! I love God. I will not hang with you. He comes to me at night and tells me to sign the devil's book every day. Witchcraft is not real. These girls are frauds. God is dead. Someone take Mr. Proctor and his wife to jail. You're bringing heaven down. You're raising him. I want my life. So you'll confess? I'll have my lie. God <coughs> praise you. The proctor will confess. He will confess. It is evil. Is it not? It is evil. I will not judge you, John. I cannot. Who will judge me? God in heaven? What is John Proctor? Who is John Proctor? It's obvious. I'm no saint. I will not be your judge, John. I cannot. What? Why would you give him this lie? Why wouldn't you just confess? Now I have to lie. It is evil. But I'll do it. Now then, what is happening? Are you ready, Mr. Proctor? Why must it be written? Why, for the good instruction of the village, mister. Now, will you speak slowly and directly to the point, Mr. Proctor? Have you seen the devil in your life? I did. And when he come to you, did he tell you to do his service upon this earth? He did. And did you, yourself, bind yourself to the devil's service? I did. Come then, sign your testimony. What more is needed? You will sign your name, there is no confession at all. No, I've signed it. You saw me sign it. The village needs proof. Damn the village. I confess to God, and God has seen my name. That is enough. Mr. Proctor. You came to save my soul, did you not? God has seen how black my sins are. You won't use me. I'm not like the two or the others. I'm John Proctor. You won't use me. I do not wish to. Either way is the same, is it not? If I report you to the village, or you sign to it? No, it's not the same. What others say and what I sign is not the same. Why? Do you mean to deny this confession when you are free? I mean to deny nothing. Then explain to me, Mr. Proctor, then why will you not let- Because it's my name. I will have no other. I gave you my soul. Just leave my name. Is this an honest confession in your hand? If it is not, then I will not accept it. I need an honest confession in my hand, or I'll not be able to keep it from the rope. Then don't. Pray to God, speak some goodness for me. Proctor, Proctor! He has his goodness now. God forbid I take it from I want my mama. Your mama's dead and buried! No! 